Hello and welcome back to Photonic Luminescence. Today I want to show you a really colorful spotlight. Literally. I want to talk about this one. So let's get started. This is an LED spotlight and from the back you kind of see what it's supposed to look like. Now here it says LED spotlight, power AC, 90 to 240 volts, 50 slash 60 hertz, light source one peaceful color lamp which I think stands for one RGB LED, controls sound, auto and DMX which you could already cut this out because it doesn't work, I will explain. 16 by 16 by 9 centimeters and the weight is 0.4 kilograms, made in China. And again, here we have another icon that says sound light. But I'm going to already explain this because even when I show, I can't really show this on camera. This does not offer this function. And the problem with this is that there are out there products that if you would pay more money, you could actually get their better version which would just include another function, like let's say music. This doesn't seem to and it kind of looks like a generic box, so maybe that's the reason. Other than that, I have no other explanations. DMX is, if I'm not wrong, actually MIDI music, if I'm not wrong. But it is definitely music shouldn't happen. Okay. Let's actually see and unbox it. Okay. So, I'm going to unpack it. And here we have the spotlight itself. We're going to talk about within a bit. Here we have the remote control. And I'm going to show you all four functions. Now, a little bit about the system itself. Here we have a bit of labeling. It says pin spot LED 10 watts, power supply 95 to 240 volts, AC, LEDs 1 by 20 watt, which we are going to test, power consumption 50 watts, made in China. It also says that at least the object should be 10 centimeters away from the spotlight. Now, before I'm going to again, this is I'm going to warn you because literally this bulb does not even hit 10 watts at all. I think again it refers to a different driver that has music and potentially is also brighter because this one just doesn't have it. I'm going to turn all of my lights off and then we're going to see. Okay, now it is darker, I am going to kind of hold it behind the camera, otherwise it doesn't even pick up literally anything, it doesn't just look good at all. Let's see! Yes, I can already hear the fan. Let's test all colors. Red, no, I said red, green, and blue. Here are all tones of red, green, and blue. It's a typical RGB light. Now, as you can already see on the camera, there is blinking. And the reason for that is that our Duinos use this way to dim, which way some am I actually talking about? I'm talking about two ways to dim a LED. One is to lower its voltage, which is very professional, or whenever you can't control an analog, so you would need digital to analog. In this case, or an Arduino, can also control the brightness of its LEDs on uh, its IO pins by blinking it. Yes, I can see it's blinking. 
by shaking my hand. Now, as how the frequency goes, so does also the LED kind of get brighter. It actually just depends on the woof, which is the P PWM signals, pulse modulations. Pulse woof modulation, which pretty much refers to the fact that there is already a set frequency. What does actually change is the width of the wave. Pretty much just gets smaller or tinier. And as small as it can get, it's so also there's more place which is darker. And this is when it is dimmed, literally. And as brighter as it gets, the LED, that means that the width gets wider. So now the frequency doesn't actually change, but the width of the wave does. A square wave by the way. And this is why whenever we have low settings, especially if we dim this, yes then it is just fun of blinking. I can see that with my eyes whenever I wave my hand. That is not good. Okay, at least let's actually try all other modes out. Like flash, which flashes for all colors, strobing, which the frequency can be adjusted. This is this is lowest frequency and this is highest. Then we have fade, which simply just fades out a color the way like flash but it just fades out and smooth which is Usually labeled as fade or smooth. I saw a lot of LED controls that have fade and smooth some, so this is not really a problem. Wattage. When we use only one color, the parameters is showing no what. Now this is not free energy, but my parameter cannot detect under 4 watts, which means 3, 2, and 1 watts in lower cannot be detected my, by my power meter. So this has lower than 4 watts. Which I would actually assume maybe 2 watts or well, 3 watts for this brightness. So applies to all colors. And if we take white, then we have 8 watts. If we have a combination of 50-50, that also disappears. What I was mentioning is that the fading functions and pretty much all functions cannot be dimmed but their speed so frequency can be sped up or slowed also there are light bulbs that their dimming doesn't really feel like dimming this one is decent dimming this is dim but you know why it flickers and this is the brightest, but it doesn't flicker at all. And yes, as disappointing as it is, no music. But this didn't say anywhere in the description, so it does mean it is more like a generic box. So, to sum it up, do I recommend this pool or spotlight? Yes. I would personally recommend it, and it is really colorful and awesome. Now, about its quality, I do actually think that it is good quality. So, I don't see this can also not loosen, even though after you do it, it gets loose. You just unscrew this one here, or screw it, or you screw it back <laughs> to tighten it up. But if you want to loosen it, just screw it out. So I do think that this has quality in it, and I would recommend you. Now, if you have any questions regarding this lamp, something that I haven't covered but you want to know, leave a comment and I will try to, to answer it. Also if you like this video, give it a like. And hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified when I make another video. Goodbye, I wish you a nice day and see you next video. Bye bye.